Huge thank you to my top level Patreon supporters. We have Big Baller Ruksha Dadabai, who donated so much I have to call him Papa from now on. We have Business Tycoon Stuart Hetherington. Thank you and thanks, buddy. The OG Steve Bradshaw has been with me from the very beginning. Matthew Gray, new Patreon supporter, very average size head. All you can say about his head is it is very, it is unremarkable. Hey there, my name is Jason, otherwise known as the Lanky Lefty 27. I am a registered polysomnographic technologist, otherwise known as a sleep tech and something that really grinds my gears, sleep products in general. Specifically, I'm talking about anti-snoring products. Anti-snoring products as a whole in general really piss me off. I'd like to say a quick thank you to our sponsor of this video, CheapCPAPsupplies.com. They're helping to support this channel by their ongoing sponsorship, and we greatly appreciate this. Now, because of the nature of this video, I'm actually going to mention Cheap CPAP Supplies a little bit later in this video. Just because of the nature of the video, it seems like there might be conflicting interest here, but I would like to explain my position as it flows with the video. Now, I have some products I'm gonna show you. We're also head on over to Amazon and see what they have to offer. But I just wanna be very, very clear that I'm endorsing none of these products. Just as a sleep professional, I'd like to talk to you about the how realistic some of these anti-snoring devices are in actual real world application and what we see in an actual sleep lab when people apply these products um, in those type of settings. Uh, perception, a lot of patients who are using these things, perception is not always a reality. In fact, it's rarely reality. <laughs> so let's dive into this. Just so we're clear, so many of you may or may not know, I try every CPAP mask when I do a review. I wear them, I wear them all the time. Now I am positional. I have sleep apnea when I'm lying on my back. Specific when I'm lying on my back. When I'm on my side, sure, I'll have some sporadic apneas, but it's nothing that would be considered diagnosable. So typically when I sleep, if I'm not testing out a mask or some kind of a, a product that I need to sleep on my back, so I actually need CPAP to make it effective, I usually sleep on my side or I sleep on my stomach. And when I do that, let me show you a little problem I got here. Watch this. I'm going to go ahead and relax and breathe. Now watch what my nose does. It closes off, right? Kind of sucks. I have a long bonerish nose, but apparently it's very easily collapsed. So long, long, long time ago, a rep from some company, I think sent us a product and I've been using it for probably well over two years now. And that is again, not endorsing it. It is the mute. I don't even know if I'm saying that right. It's the mute. So what exactly are these things? Well, that was a starter pack and it comes with three different sizes. Now you can see they're just nasal dilators. This is the small, I'm sorry. This is a small, you can see it just holds open your nostrils. Then we have the medium size, which is tends to be what I use. Then we have a large one. Now this one you can see has like no use because I think I tried to cram that. Look how big that is. I tried to cram that into my nose once. It just wasn't working. Um, I don't use a small because this one always pops out and my cat runs around the house with it. <laughs> This is the one I use and I'll, I'll do the exact same thing. Stuff it up in there and you can see how my nostrils flared. Now watch, I'll try, I'll actually try to collapse my nostrils. I can't like at all. Now, would I say these are perfect uh, for what I'm using them for to keep my nose from collapsing? Uh, hell yeah, it works great. Um, would it stop with snoring? Absolutely not. And I know this because my wife says, hey, you were snoring last night, even though one of those was in place. Now, now how could that possibly possibly be, you're asking me? Look on the box. Look at this. It says, breathe more, snore less. Could they be advertising something that's false on their box? <laughs> Please get that thought out of your head. Of course, they're full of crap, right? All kinds of the products that say anti-snoring on them are just blatantly full of crap. All right, there's... there's if you consider where does snoring come from, no one snores like, like in their nose. Like if I have this thing holding it open, let's, let's actually do an experiment with that. Can I make myself snore with this in place? This is an anti-snoring device. Can I snore with it? Most snoring comes from like back here, upper airway and your oropharynx easily. Or if I have one of those things where my tongue falls back, no, I mean, that's easy. Sure, I can breathe, but... I mean, that's not even trying hard. That's just relaxing and letting, letting what, what happens happen. So 
the, this is an anti-snoring device, not even kind of, actually quite stupid. Now they have more things that are considered like nasal dilators. You'll see some that are shaped kind of like a, like a thimble. I know that's a super, <laughs> super timely reference, a thimble, um, but the shape like that, you know, a little monopoly piece. And then you put those up your nose and it has the same device kind of, uh, so it doesn't go into your nose, uh, keeping the two together. There's other things like airing knockoffs. Now, if you've ever seen my videos on the airing, it's some product from like 2015 that obviously never came to fruition because it was stupid from the get go, but they're massive things, you know, it's massive brick in front of you. Then it has these little nasal inserts and really all it is is a nasal dilator exactly like one of these exact same thing, except it has this giant apparatus in the front. That's in my opinion, is trying to fool you into thinking that there's some kind of equipment or electronics in there that are keeping you from snoring or keeping you from stopping breathing. It's not the case. They're, I think it's a complete scam on another level. Now you have other things such as chin straps. I don't have a chin strap with me, but the gist of it, I'm gonna use this giant sock. Uh, you're trying to keep your jaw up and in place. Now the problem with chin straps is oftentimes you'll see that they're, it's an angle like this. Well, if it's at this angle, you know, this is the only way it's going to work, right? Because if I don't have it here, I'll have it down here. Then it just falls down this way. If I have it too far up, it's just going to fall forward that way easily. So you kind of have to have this 45 degree angle, but really that's pulling it up in that direction, which is driving my jaw back into my airway. So it's basically, it's trying to fix an obstruction, but it's really causing more of an obstruction. We see the same thing with people in the lab using a chin strap with a full face mask. They're trying to, or I'm sorry, just any, really any kind of mask. They have a mouth leak. Chin straps oftentimes make it worse because it's pulling the, the jaw back, which is pulling the tongue back and obstructing the airway. And the whole purpose is to get rid of a mouth leak. So there's, there's other methods to get rid of mouth leaks, but chin straps really aren't helpful. But if you consider these for snoring, really your tongue is very easily able to slide back this way. And, and it's, it's easy to snore. It's the same thing. It's just keeping my jaw shut does nothing, right? Now you have other products and I don't have one of these, but they're um, oral appliances. Now you can have either the ones that are, that are made by a dentist or there's even some over the counter ones. I'll show you some of those on Amazon as well, but really anything mandibular advancement, this is the mandible advancement means to bring it forward. So if I'm think of a, an ugly pug, if I have my jaw forward and I try to snore, I can still snore up here. <sighs> You can hear the quality is a lot less, but if I try to do the snoring from down here where it's like my tongue, you can see that advancing my jaw actually makes it very difficult to snore. Now, again, I'm not much of a snore. So someone who is a heavier snore, if you advance the jaw forward, maybe it helps, maybe not. It depends on how much fatty, loose, soft tissue you have back there. Matters how big your airway is matters how large your tongue and, and how prone it is to sliding back into the airway. But that is something that actually does work for a percentage of the population. Granted, it's not a huge percentage of the population. If you're talking the mild category, it's effective on 26% of the population of specifically the mild population. It's not foolproof. And the other caveat to that is anything that is advancing your jaw forward. If you do it too much, you start to have temporal mandibular joint issues, the TMJ joint, uh, it can get unhappy very easily and it can be extremely painful if it does. So that's something you have to be aware of. Sure, you can ratchet that baby forward all day long, but can you sleep like that? And long-term, is it really a solution? You're, you're, you could potentially be in a lot of pain doing that. Now you'll see other things like a, a pillow, an anti-snoring pillow. That's just, I mean, honestly, please just stop. I, I can't even talk about that, that's so dumb. But now we're talking about endorsements. Now, what do I endorse? Is there a product that I endorse? Not necessarily a product, but CPAP. CPAP is something that I, that I do endorse because in the lab, time and time again, people come in, they snore, snoring is gone with it. All right, let's go ahead and talk about my sponsorship now, CheapCPAPsupplies.com. Whenever you buy something from Cheap CPAP Supplies, make sure in the discount code you're putting Lefty16, you're gonna get a big discount. And I'll go ahead and show you that. Now, why uh, do I even allow such a sponsor of Cheap CPAP Supplies for this video? Well. Really after working in this field for so long, I see so many products come and go that promise to stop snoring or minimize snoring. And really they all fall short. The one thing that never seems to fail is CPAP, unfortunately. Now I know what you're probably thinking. This is, this is a very common complaint that I hear. Well, you just 
you just let them do it because cheap CPAP supplies, they sell CPAP. And then they pay you that C, that good old CPAP money. You get that CPAP gold bouillon. Well, let's let's be very straight here. Cheap CPAP Supplies is a company. All right? They sell stuff to help with your sleep. Now, if something else came along, who knows, some snake oil that hasn't been invented yet comes along and all of a sudden now it is the cure for everything. This snake oil that they don't sell now Trust me, they're business people. They will get in the business of selling it because it is effective at curing sleep apnea and resolving snoring. So if something works, they're going to sell it. And if something works, I want to be on board with it. That's that's the gist of it. You, you You can sit there all day and say everyone's against it. But the truth is, anyone can pretty much sell anything they want. Um, the reason you sell stuff is because it's effective. Anyway, on to this. So if I were to add this to the cart and I want to edit my cart, I'm not paying that. That's stupid. Who pays that? Guess guess what I pay? I pay Lefty 16. Boom. And now, oh, look at that. I just got 55 bucks off and 68 cents. So we got that under 300 bucks just because you know a guy who happens to be a lefty and makes dumb YouTube videos. Check out my sponsor. I appreciate him. CheapCPAPsupplies.com. And thank you for all that you guys do to support this channel. Sure, CPAP, I, I get it. It can be very expensive. And some of these products, you know, you can try for like 20 bucks, uh, 50 bucks. The, the Zippa, which is a product I'll talk about, 100 bucks. You know, it's not going to break the bank. CPAP is extremely expensive, but CPAP does work. And it works very, very well. Now, why do I like CPAP? Because it addresses every possible scenario that would be causing any possible obstruction. We're talking about obstructive apnea, hypopneas, snoring. It doesn't no matter where it's coming from, it's going to take the airway, whatever the collapse is, and it's going to inflate it and keep it open. Now, if you're using some kind of a product, uh, this little thing is going to have to be perfectly in the middle of whatever it is and holding it open. That's kind of the idea of CPAP, but CPAP doesn't care where it is. It's going to inflate that area, keep it open, keep you breathing, uh, wake up rested. Any kind of a snoring or anti-apnea product, it can't promise that because it doesn't know where your source of obstruction is. CPAP doesn't know either, it just affects all of them. So in that, I endorse CPAP. And in that, I do not endorse anti-snoring devices if they are specifically used to stop snoring. If you're talking about a breathe right strip or one of these mutes that gonna hold open your, your nose if you have a problem such as me, yeah, go for it. What do, you know, what do I care? But in general, this is more of a I'm trying to keep you from wasting your money. I'm trying to I'm trying to help uh, people understand that these anti-snoring devices, being called anti-snoring is a complete scam. It's it's such a it's such a misleading term that I kind of hate it. All right, now let's go ahead and check out some of these products on Amazon just so you kind of see exactly what I'm looking at. Now, I'm going to do so, shameless plug alert, I'm going to do so through my website, freecffadvice.com forward slash forum. I'm going to click on this Amazon link. Now, this link I am an Amazon affiliate and as an Amazon affiliate, I earn on all qualified purchases. I have to say that or I get ass blasted by the powers that be. So here's just a simple search of snoring aids. Let's evaluate these for what they are. Here we have the Mute. It's the product that I use on occasion and you have to look at it for what it is. Is it going to address by holding open my nostrils? Is it going to address snoring cause behind the nostrils, kind of in the upper airway, or the other location being near the tongue if the tongue falls back into the airway, um, or you know, soft tissue coming from your, your palate. Anything that's gonna obstruct the airway is not gonna be assisted by something that holds open your nostrils. Even if you have a deviated septum, is this is not gonna help out um, really at all. Pretty much the breathe right strip, pretty much the exact same thing. It's gonna hold open the nostrils. Now we have some of these, an anti- snoring mouthpiece now this would be to me it falls into the same category as um, your tongue falling back into the airway that would be what causes the snoring now if you say that your jaw is falling back which is allowing your tongue to fall back and fall into the airway then this may help a little bit but you have to you have to understand is that exactly where the snoring is coming from or is there more soft tissue where you'd have to have your jaw thrust forward more to prevent the snoring is really difficult to say. You have to evaluate yourself, try it out to see if it even works. But this is something that could potentially help with stopping snoring. Basically, this is like an over-the-counter version of a, an oral appliance made by a physician, which again, those aren't real 
those aren't real successful either. So um, the nice thing about this is it's a low price. And so you could potentially test that out and see and if, you know, if and when it doesn't work, you know, 10% of the time, 5% of the time, it might work on someone. And you, you know, those that it doesn't work on, you're only out about 20 bucks. Now, chin straps are another product that you see, you know, anti-snoring chin strap. Um, this is about the only type of chin strap that seems like it might work. And I only say that because this is gonna be preventing the jaw from falling back. Most chin straps kind of come at this angle to the back of the head. Well, you can see that if it's pulling at that angle, it's actually gonna be pulling the jaw back into the upper airway, making any obstruction worse or any snoring worse. This one seems like it kind of comes more up on top of the head, pulling it up instead of back. So something like this would work better but again, this is just keeping the mouth shut. Your tongue is still able to fall, you know, slide back, or you still have a, a fat uvula or fatty tissue in the back of the airway. So if it addresses the root of the snoring, then sure it's gonna work. But the likelihood of this, you know, working on snoring, slim to none. Now here's some other nasal inserts. This is pretty much like the mute something you stick up in your nose, holds the nostrils open. Sure, it helps you breathe better, but it's not gonna stop any snoring you can see more products that are you know inserts into the nose you can see how it's flaring the nostrils out is this going to stop snoring again no this is just this is addressing something completely separate from where snoring would be coming from and now we have these are what i like to call the airing knockoffs these guys usually they'll put airing in the title somewhere because you know that was such a drive in 2015 everyone's like oh cpap on your nose nice man so they're trying to go with this design most of them look more like it if we scroll through here we could probably find some but again this is just a massive version of you know one of these when you when you boil it down you really are just talking about these little nose plugs here are basically the same as these nose plugs here now you just have this giant thing on the front of it that i think they're claiming it filters air or whatever but i think they want you to get the idea that there's some kind of machinery in there that's helping you breathe and, and actually helping with apnea Nothing could be farther from the tr truth. These things are, to me, these things are scams. They're trying to work off the airing name, which I don't, I don't really have a good reputation anyway, but they're trying to work off the airing name and really nothing else because these are so huge. Why would you use this when it really does the exact same thing as this? Now, this one is kind of interesting, an anti-snoring mouthpiece. Now, this works. This is going to. It's, it's meant to work more like a, a traditional oral appliance therapy device, an OAT or mandibular advancement you can see the spring it's supposed to slide your lower jaw forward and that is supposed to clear out some space for your airway these can these can work on people with super mild obstructive apnea or very light snoring because it can again if that's the reason for your obstruction if it is your tongue falling back or your jaw sliding back in your airway crowding it then this pushing it forward would absolutely help but again you just kind of have to try it um, to me, this is a good price point. 25 bucks is pretty cheap uh, as far as just giving something a shot to see if it works. Um, I'm not really sure the value of going to a, uh, a dentist that specializes in this kind of thing. Uh, a lot of them just, I mean, really, in essence, they just do trial and error as well. So why can't you do trial and error on your, on your own? I'm not really sure, but um, this is a product that might have a little more merit. Okay, the last one I want to look at is the Zippa. Now, this is stupid because I'm not saying the product is stupid. It's stupid because it's H-A-P-P-Y, Happies. Happy Z. Backwards, super dumb. Dumb name. I guess it's clever. I don't know. I'm just salty, I guess. But anyway, this is also, let's go ahead and click on it. This is super expensive for one. It's 99 bucks. It does the same thing. It, it's, it, you know, it pulls the lower jaw forward. You can see here. Whoops, see there, it pulls the lower jaw forward. Um, and then it also has this band right here. And that band, the whole purpose of that is to keep your tongue from falling back. I've never tried one of these, like I said. Now the whole idea of it thrusting your lower jaw forward, that's all good there. This band, in principle, it sounds like it's a good idea because it would you know, keep your tongue, it would basically keep your tongue from falling back easily. You know, it has this band to contend with. I don't think I could sleep with that band going across my tongue, though. Again, never tried it, but, you know, it could potentially could potentially work. It's just 99 bucks. You're talking a much larger price point to try to eliminate snoring. But, hey, some people have, have 100 bucks laying around. They could give it a shot, you know, so if that's the case, go for it. So here's kind of their, their, 
what they're saying is that that the that gizmo grabs the tongue and keeps it from falling back into the airway. I'm not 100% sure I'm sold on it, but it seems like there's a little thought into it that that may work. Oh, now I see like now I see exactly why it costs 100 bucks. They got a friggin' pitchman in shack. So really even with something like uh, the Zippa, you have to evaluate, hey, is this where the root of my snoring is coming from? And even if it is, is this solution something that's going to work to fix that problem? Hey, thanks for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, like, subscribe, and I'll put my PayPal donation if it is super helpful. You wanna throw a couple bucks at me, I'd appreciate it. Also, I am an Amazon affiliate. I'll leave the link down below. Um, I earn on all qualified purchases. Again, I'm not endorsing any product other than CPAP because it just works. But if you try it, just know what you're getting into. You might just be throwing money away. Um, but hey, what do I care? It's your money, right? I appreciate your time. Thank you very much for watching. For those of you who don't know, I have an alternative channel. It is considered more entertainment, comedy, if you want to call it that. I just do dumb stuff on it, quite honestly. It's very, very stupid. It's very juvenile, but sometimes I just need an outlet for that because I have to be so dang professional in my life. So, if you wanna check that out, as Snappy says, I would appreciate you uh, checking it out. I just released a video the other day. Uh, lots of fun, lots of wackiness, and uh, I'm gonna be honest, it's not for everyone. So, you might go into it losing respect for me on this channel, but that's okay. You know, we can all be we can all let loose every now and then, have a little bit of fun, and it's not gonna be the end of the world. But just know, it's very different from this channel. Very different. If you're looking to support this channel, head on over to MassBright.com. You can pick up some MassBright there, as well as a large selection of slightly used masks at very affordable prices. Go ahead and check it out, it helps support this channel. Now is a great time to also mention that we are an Amazon affiliate. Now as an Amazon affiliate, we earn on all qualified purchases. So we'll have a link in the description box below. Then let's go ahead and mention this Patreon thing just one more time. Now, some of the benefits of joining this is um, absolutely nothing. There really is no benefit at all. You can look, look at these for free on YouTube. But if you're appreciative of our work, you can go ahead and check this out and donate monthly.